Colin, we're standing here in front of a, uh, another Turner picture. It looks as if it ought to be somewhere I recognise. Well, indeed, this is the High Street of Oxford, which, since the 18th century, was always considered one of the most beautiful streets in Europe. And so when Turner painted it in 1810, um, he painted every detail um, very, very carefully. This scene has hardly changed at all since Turner painted it. All the buildings, um, apart from one on the left, are still exactly as he depicted them in 1810. It seems to have a great interest in architecture. Um, he's got a lot of architecture in there, hasn't he? <laughs> Would you say that was one of his main... Um, reasons for painting it? Well, this was a particular commission from an Oxford picture dealer um, who wanted a, 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 an oil painting from which he would make engravings to sell, therefore to make money as a commercial enterprise. Um, but Turner, remember, started his life as an architectural draftsman and in the, in the 1790s he was employed to make um, antiquarian drawings of the um, medieval architecture in England and Wales and so he had a great interest in the particular styles of architecture that you can see in this picture the 17th century Gothic, the high Gothic of the university church with its, with its spire, um, the neoclassical, the 18th century um, tower of, of the Church of All Saints in the middle and right down at the far end of the street the Saxon tower of the church um, at Carfax and I suppose that Ruskin would have appreciated that because, of course, he had a huge interest in architecture, didn't he? I mean, we will be going later to have a look at the Natural History Museum, over which he had quite an influence. Um, so presumably, Ruskin would have approved of this kind of architectural study. Certainly. Um, Rus this is unique in Turner's output as an oil painting, very, very carefully detailed, of all these Gothic buildings. Um, but Ruskin does write um, at great length about Turner's watercolours of architectural subjects. And it's still true today that Oxford is one of the best preserved Gothic cities in the world. I notice he's got a lot of scholars in this, in their black mortarboards and capes, um, and also some ordinary people selling fair either wares on the street, or I don't know what you call it really. It's quite a little social study as well. I suppose that would have been of interest to buyers, wouldn't it? That would have been certainly of interest to buyers. In fact, Turner is recorded, there's a great correspondence between the man who commissioned this picture, um, James Wyatt, and Turner about um, exactly the figures that he should put in. So he put in all these academics, these university um, dons in their gowns and mortarboards. Um, and at one point in the correspondence, he does say that he's going to add some female figures for the sake of colour. <laughs> so we have, um, we have these um, ladies in their dresses and, and blue hats and we've got on the left-hand side this wonderful incidental detail of um, um, a fruiterer who seems to have dropped a basket of oranges and so that adds yet another, another colour into the touch. scene because otherwise it is quite um, restrained in its, in its colour scheme. Yes, and the other thing that comes over to me, of course, is the interest in light. Uh, you've got the strong shadow coming from one side of the building, one side of the picture, um, and I guess that would have been of interest to Ruskin as well. Certainly, um, painting is um, not just depiction, it is atmosphere, and this is something that Sup Turner was the supreme master of. So even in this relatively early date, um, he's using the depiction of the accurate depiction of architecture to evoke the scene and it's part of the natural world. It's very, very firmly placed um, in England, in the middle of England, um, with this wonderful sky, very mm. carefully um, united to the scene, the street scene underneath it. Yes, it's definitely saying England is, and Oxford in particular uh, is a nice place to be. Certainly.